good morning. So it is 6:35. <clears throat> it's already been an eventful morning already. <laughs> My car battery was dead, and we had this problem last week. So today it was like last Tuesday. I don't know what the issue is, but last Tuesday um, on the kids' Christmas break, I got them all dressed and wrangled up, and we were going to go to town and tend to some business. And we all got loaded up in the car, buckled the baby in, they were all buckled, and then the car wouldn't start. So Dale had to come home on his lunch break and jump start my car and go back to work and then we had to go to town and tend to all the bills. Um, which then made for like a very long day because then we decided that we were going to go and take the kids to eat and play at McDonald's. And then we went and grabbed a couple things from the store and then we wanted ice cream so we went back by McDonald's. and. Yeah, so it kind of made for um, a long night, but it was pretty fun, though, because we hardly ever just like, hey, let's just go and do this. So we were like, we need to do this more often. But um, yeah, so, so far this morning, he was smart enough, and he checked my car, and it was dead. So I'm either thinking that the kids are leaving the um, light up ahead on in the car, or it's getting really cold for some reason, and maybe that has something to do with it, because it's like 25 degrees, which it's cold. And then Brody this morning is kind of whiny and saying that he doesn't feel good, so I might have to take him to town with me today to run my errands and all that fun stuff. So it's already a very eventful day. So so the kids are off um, on the bus. Brody stayed home because he just was not feeling good, and I'm kind of glad he did because like as soon as the bus pulled up, he ended up running to the bathroom and going... So, um, that's great, but now it's time for me to go ahead and get out of my PJs and put on my face. So, I'm trying to figure out what to wear because there's like all kinds of ice and frost and stuff on the grass and it's supposed to be pretty cold today. And, um, I'm trying to figure out what I want to wear. So, I've got like some clothes laid out <laughs> on my bed. I can't decide if I want to wear leggings with like a big fluffy uh, sweater or if I want to force myself to wear jeans. Uh, Riley is being a butt, really. He's being horrible today. He's been beating up on Brody and whining. He took off his pants. Uh, now he's trying to get stuff on his dad's dresser. He's just not being too happy. Oh, yeah. it's okay. Fake cry. Not a tear in his eye. Not a tear in his eye. So, um, anyways. Here. You want that? So, anyways, um, yeah, I, I really, I honestly don't really feel like getting dressed. I'd rather just, like, stay wrapped up like a huge burrito, to be honest with you. Like, the thought of wearing jeans meaning they're like tight and squishing my stomach and my butt and then bending over and then you get the whole like mommy pooch and then sometimes you got the whole plumber's butt crack going on um, and if you've had more than one kid then you know what I'm talking about ladies so I'm a, like on my fourth kid now and the jeans that I used to fit into like back in the day before I had the twins I couldn't even put a leg into now it's just ridiculous so it's like, you know, it's pretty cold outside. There's like ice on the grass. And it's supposed to be pretty cold today, so it's kind of like, okay, well, then you should wear some jeans. But I really don't want to wear jeans. But like I said, it might be too cold to wear leggings. <sighs> I don't know. I hate, I hate picking out clothes. I just, I do. During the winter, I'm not a clothes person. <sighs> During the summer, it's easy. I can put on like a pair of jeans, slip on my flip flops, or leggings, or a pair of shorts, which I mainly walk around like now in shorts. I used to never wear shorts. Now I'm like just wearing shorts all the time. But I need to put on something. I just don't know what. I probably should just go with the jeans. Like I don't know. I have I have a hard time with jeans because of the whole sizing thing. Like. And these LEI ones, I can wear like 7 and 9s, but it kind of makes me look like I have no butt. So if I wear these ones that are, like what are they, Decree or whatever, these are a size 3, which 
they're stretched, but I seriously think I should, like, wear a size 5 in them. But these, like, squeeze me, but it makes me look like I have a booty. If I wear leggings, I freeze my butt off, and then, like, my mommy pooch shows, so... I don't know. <laughs> I just hate wearing clothes. Maybe I should just become a nudist. That's an idea. Riley's a pretty much a nudist, so maybe I should follow in his footsteps. So I'm sitting back here doing my makeup, as you can probably see. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you can see. Um, and I can't help but, like, get tickled because I'm over here, like, having a hard time finding clothes. And my issue is tightness. Like, oh, well, that shirt's too tight, so I don't want to have to wear jeans. Or, oh, I just won't wear it and it'll hang in my closet. Or it's like, oh, I don't want to wear jeans. They're just too tight. All of that. And then I remember back in the day, like, after I had the twins, like, everything I wore, I wanted to be tight. Because I still looked good. I still looked really nice after having, you know, both twins. And I was so determined to show not only, like, my husband, but everybody else, um you know, that I still looked good for having two babies at one time. So everything I wore was like really tight and just it showed all of my curves and all of that. And here I am years later and it's like I don't want to wear really anything tight. I don't know if it's because I've just kind of grown up and it's like, yeah, whatever, I've had four kids. Or if I have just, I don't know, maybe I'm like ashamed of my, like my body. You know, because, like, after I had the twins, I couldn't wait to show my body off. I was doing um, modeling gigs and stuff like that, and when they would be like, Really? You have two children? And it was like, you know, twins. And I was like, Heck yeah, you know, look at me, blah, blah, blah. And even, you know, now, I don't feel like, I don't feel that bad, but I think for four kids, I look pretty good. You know, I'm, I've seen some people that they can have one child, and don't they know look... What I like. They look rough, you know. They look like they've had four. But, you know, I mean, to each is their own. I mean, I'm not saying I look the best, and I don't. Uh, trust me, I don't. I know I look different than um, before having the twins. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. Because before, um, when I had the twins, back when I got married, I was. I was 16. Um, I was very small. Um, I was like 100, 110. So, I mean, I was very, um, small. What, buddy? Turn on the TV. Never mind, I got Did you get it? Okay, we'll turn it down. Um, anyways, but I was very small. I wasn't, you know, a big person. I'm still not a big person. I'm like 140 now. But I think just that extra weight is kind of gotten to me. And then I see all this stuff, you know, on TV and online. And, you know, all of these girls Hi. just showing off everything. It just... I don't know. It does make me feel a little bit, like, self-conscious of myself. So, I mean, that could be a, a portion of it. But, I don't know. It's just... It is rough. I mean, I think it is rough on women like me. Because when you do have four kids, you know, you do start to question sometimes, well, does my partner still find me attractive? You know, do I still do it for him? You know, and you can even ask your partner, and they're going to tell you, you know, yes. But if they're if they're any kind of a decent person, of course they're going to say yes to you and probably lying out their teeth. What, buddy? Why do you have a sports channel? Uh, I think the Simpsons are on. <laughs> Most of the Simpsons. But, um, you know, it's just, I don't know. I don't like all of this. I don't know, body show and stuff, you know, and there's people out there that, yeah, they have time, plenty of time to, to devote to working out, and I'm not saying I don't have time, I mean, I could probably fit some in, but I look at, would I rather be, like, working out hardcore, you know, and ignoring my kids, you know, and I don't, like, I don't want to use my precious time with my kids to be trying to look like a supermodel when, you know, I'm not and I never will be you know I kind of just like to look I like to look like me but just a little bit better hence why I wear makeup I don't like my freckles so therefore I try to cover it up um, with my makeup but I don't look like I just put paint on my face I see some girls that if they if they were like to get splashed by a car um yeah you wouldn't even be able to tell who they are what are you doing 
But yeah, I don't know. I just found that funny though. I'm like, oh, I don't want to wear anything tight, you know, but years ago, like, tight was in. Now it's like, the looser the better. Call me Lucy Goosey. What are you doing? But yeah, I found it funny. Interesting, anyways. Are, are any of you guys like that? Have you changed your your wardrobe, your styling? What are you doing? He wants to play with that tablet so bad. Ugh. I really gotta fix those hair. Mine <laughs> all like fell over. Funny. My hair looks funny? Well, mm. probably. It needs to be fixed. Crazy looking hair. Mm. Mm. I know where the place is. The hair salon. Oh, I'm not going to the hair salon. I just mean I need to fix it. These bangs are bugging me. Why did you chop them off? We're here at Starbucks. I'm waiting for my coffee. <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> I always get a grande white chocolate mocha. Want to like bit. them? Yep, they're good. Ooh, yay. He's dressed and he's taking off his um, socks right now. Yeah, pretty much. I put my hair up in a ponytail and it's just not working out. So we're gonna. Woo woo, baby! I'm gonna try to fix it. <sighs> just going to run around in circles. Totally. I'm not he's playing this tablet in case you guys are wondering what that noise is or what he's doing. He's playing his tablet. Are you recording? Yep. And I think that truck was following me. Haha. <laughs> Which truck? That one that just pulled in. Yeah, I'm fixing my hair in the parking lot. Get over <laughs> it, people. No! No, no, no! Stupid! Hey, what have I told you about that word? Okay, another ponytail, and I think we'll be good. Yeah, pretty much that would be good. That Gotta would double good. up the ponytail here. Double up so hard they play on the same note. It hurts for me. You're in a rotten mood today, ain't you? Alright, well that's gonna have to be as good as it's gonna get. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to the mall. We're back home. Um, I don't record when I'm grocery shopping, just because it's really difficult, and it was kind of a bad grocery shopping trip today. Riley got hungry so he started crying and cutting up and I had to stop grocery shopping, get him something to snack on, let him snack on it, change his diaper and then go back in and finish. So by the time that we got home it was around like two something like that so after our, me and Brody unloaded the car and put everything away and then I did like my few chores around the house I was pooped. I'm still tired. But um, Dale wants to take me and the kids to this new pizza place, so he was like, you know, do you guys want to go tonight or you want to wait this weekend? And so I said, I don't know when you want to go, and he wants to go tonight. So I washed my hair and um, touched up my makeup a little bit, so I look a little bit more presentable than walking around with my, like, doo-doo ball on top of my head. So, um, we're just waiting for him to get off work, get cleaned up, and then we're going to go to the Lost Pizza Company. So, that ought to be interesting. Mm. And the red eye. It's not cream cheese. It's butter. It's butter. It's just butter. 
So we ended up going to uh, Logan's Steakhouse. The pizza place just didn't suit our fancy. So Daniel's having root beer over there. Because you're uh, eight. And so they're coloring. So they're coloring pictures, and Riley's over here making music. <laughs> So this is what I got. I got a steak with provolone and garlic um, topped on there with a fully loaded baked potato. Um, Dale got the same potato but a steak with some kind of um, shiitake mushrooms, I think that's what it is. Uh, Riley has chicken tenders and fries, so does Brody, <laughs> so does Preston, and Daniel got himself a little steak over there. So we're getting ready to tear it up. We're back home now. We're actually like late. It's almost nine o'clock. But oh, dinner was so good. I couldn't really talk loud in the restaurant because there was like people in front and back and side, and I'm not really like all that comfortable with like vlogging in public because I feel like somebody's gonna walk up to me and be like, "What are you doing? Like, why are you holding a camera talking to it?" So, anyways, um, I had a uh, sirloin steak with like garlic and provolone cheese melted on. Oh. Ah! G. That was so good. I had a fully loaded baked potato, which was pretty good. I mean, it was a baked potato, but the steak was awesome. And then the fries. Oh my gosh, I don't know what season that was, but it was good. Mr. Riley, he pigged out on his meal. Lately, I've been having like trouble with him eating. He'll like, he'll pick at it like a little bird. He pigged out. So did the other boys. Daniel loved his steak. Oh, you got me. So, yeah. It was good. Left the girl a nice tip because... You know, with four kids and one that drops stuff, um, I know how it is to like have them leave you no tip or like a dollar, but and like have a big mess. But the way that I always took it, well, maybe that was all that they could leave. You know, maybe, but yeah, because I, I was I've been a waitress before working for like nothing. So we quit jumping on me. He's like pounding my knee over here, killing me. So, yeah, I think um, we're going to go ahead and call it a night. The kids are laying down. Um, Dell's getting his stuff ready for tomorrow for work. It's supposed to be really cold, so I kind of feel bad for him there. But then again, not. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah, so, good night. It was good. Long day of grocery shopping and all that. Good night of meals. Fun, fun. So, yeah, I guess. We will say good night and see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.